All right, so next, let's get on with the Orange Ghost. So basically, if the Orange Ghost is within eight tiles of Pac-Man, it does the exact same thing as Red. It just follows him. Um, but if he's farther away than eight tiles, he will just go into scatter mode, even if the game is in chase mode. So that is pretty simple. We are just going to, oh, whoops. Go down to determine orange direction. So we're going to start off by creating a float that has our uh, distance. And we are going to do a similar thing that we did last time. We're going to get a new vector 2. Or sorry, we're going to get vector 2 dot distance. And we're going to get the distance between uh, game manager dot pacman dot transform dot position and our current transform dot position. Um, and then if our distance is less than zero, so if our distance was like negative five, just multiply it by negative one so that we turn it into a positive number just to make the math e easier. And then we're just going to say if distance is less than or equal to, um, let's get distance between nodes in here, distance between nodes times eight. So if we're in eight nodes, then we are just going to determine red direction. Else, scatter mode. And why is this giving me an error? Oh, it's not actually giving me an error. Okay, so if we are within eight nodes of Pac-Man, chase him using red's logic. Otherwise, use scatter mode logic. So if we go up here, you're going to see that, where do we call determine red? Yeah, we call it right here. So what we're going to do is right above, this is where we're doing our scatter mode stuff. We're going to move this into its own function. Uh, and we're just going to call it determine ghost scatter mode direction. And then right below it, we're going to make that function. Void determine ghost scatter mode direction. And then we're going to paste our logic in there. So now it's calling it up there, but we're also just going to call that exact same function down here. Determine ghost scatter mode direction. Okay. So now our orange should be working. Um, make sure we go to orange and then set ready to leave home equal to true. And right now, um, orange is following red's scatter mode logic, which we're going to change after, but this is good. So orange is in scatter mode, but then if we get too close, he should start chasing us and he does. Okay, so that logic now works. Now what we're gonna need to do is give each ghost its own scatter nodes. So for pink, their first scatter node is gonna start right here. Cut, go down to the bottom. Actually just minimize this. We're gonna create another empty scatter nodes pink and then paste as child so that'll be the first one this will be the second one the third one And the fourth one. Okay. 
So then let's do the exact same thing for our other ghosts. Create empty. Scatter nodes uh, blue. Actually, we'll start with orange. So the first one we want to go to is right here. Then down here. And then here. And over here. And then honestly, it should automatically follow it back after that because it'll have to keep going this way and then it will go back to here. So let's go to our pink ghost. Let's open pink. Let's just make sure this ordered it correctly. This is one. Oh, wait a minute. Yep. Two. Three and four. So then we can drag that in. Um, where is pink? One, two, three. Then orange, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We'll click orange. Make sure we set scatter node, or sorry, set this to have seven elements. One, two, Make sure you keep track of these because they look like they're the same nodes, but they are not. Five, six, seven. And before I do blues, I'm just gonna make sure that orange is working because they are symmetrical. So if oranges works right now, then blues will work. But if it doesn't, I don't wanna have to change both. So let's set orange to ready to leave home. Let's set blue, or not blue, uh, pink. To ready to leave home and then let's go to our game manager and set um, scatter mode okay so pink is working orange is working let's just make sure it does another loop Awesome. So now let's set up the final ones with blue. Um, create empty. Scatter nodes blue. Okay. So we're going to start right here. And I'm just going to fast forward this because you guys get the point now. All right, so I ended up grabbing them backwards, which is a little bit annoying. We can see uh, blue 
goes right, orange goes left. I got orange right, but I ended up starting blue going left. So what we're going to do is just set this one to one, this one to two. So if you accidentally did them backwards, don't worry about it. Just make sure you number them correctly. And then blue. Eight elements, which is technically nine elements if you include zero. One. Okay, so I filled all of these in. So we're gonna load one last time and make sure that all these ghosts are good. So they are all set to scatter mode. So blue should be going to the right now. Great. Okay, so every ghost is following its scatter mode pattern, and you can see if we set this back to chase. They are going to immediately start chasing me. And if we're far away, orange should be following its scatter mode. Okay, so orange is doing its own thing. That is awesome.